Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I have an announcement to make today. Where are you from though? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that ruined it for poor Blue Bike and Doyle. <laughs> he likes it when I forget, uh, only because he likes to point it out. Not that he likes me to forget, but he likes me to forget. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes again. Okay, hi, I'm Nona Grace. And I am from Western New York. And the announcement is, today is Jim's birthday. Yeah, he's he's got a birthday, so guess what? We're gonna sing, my daughter and I. She can come on camera if she wants, or she can no, stay there. No, stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna sing happy birthday. Now, you gotta sing loud enough so I can hear you. Okay. Cause otherwise, <laughs> Cause otherwise it's just me singing. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jim. Happy birthday to you. There you go. Thank I won't make you, you sing. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. Thank you, that Jessica. Is Jessica. Thank you, Mary Grace. You're Nona welcome. Grace. Uh, yes, Nona Grace. Okay. Today, because it's his birthday, guess what I got? <laughs> <laughs> I told him I went to the store to look for something, couldn't find anything. So I bought chicken or a bird um, suet. <laughs> and I had nothing to put it in. So, this is what he made me. He made me a, he, he, he did it with the, um, a shelf, shelf. From, a, from my closet and some wire. Hardware cloth. Hardware cloth. He's going to make me another one, but with just the green stuff. And then you just take, and it doesn't have to be this tall, except the shelf was that tall. That's why he made it that tall. Anyways, you put it down in and my ch I'm going to hang it tomorrow. For my chickens and they're gonna peck away at it so i got a birthday present on my non-birthday on my birthday i know well if you were a chicken you'd have had suet <laughs> well thanks a lot you're welcome um too bad i'm not a chicken too bad you're not you're, you're not even a rooster <laughs> nope. i have one of those just one um and i'm hoping it's way it stays because I've had such luck with the chickens. I've, every time they hatch out I get one hen and like three roosters or something like that. Some crazy number. So my brother has really had some good chicken dinners because I don't eat any of my my birds. I just eat their eggs and it took me a while to eat the eggs and one of my little bantams it's been laying an egg quite every other day. What did you guys say? Itty They're itty bitty. Yeah. They're so tiny. Yes. It's not even a peewee egg. It's not even a little egg. I put it on the egg scale and it doesn't even move. So you'd probably need three of them to make one regular oh, egg. That's almost the size of the No, egg. they're bigger than that <laughs> olive. He's showing me an olive. No, they're bigger than the olive. Um, today I was going to talk about retirement. What it's like. Oh no, I don't know if I need my notebook because I wrote some bunch of I know, chicken scratch. I wrote a bunch of stuff. You need it. Just a bunch of bunch of stuff. Well, now, can I tell your age? <laughs> I don't care if you want. It's a, it's just a number. It is right. just a number. You leveled up. He's yeah. leveled up, is right. I leveled yeah. up. Yep. And he is today 62. But is he going to retire? No, no. way. He's, he would be so lost. He goes outside just to find something to do. My fence doesn't need fixing, but he'll go out and fix my fence. <laughs> um, the chicken fence, he says, it looks like it needs adjusting. Yeah. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just something to do. So what I was going to talk about was retirement. Now, I, I remember when my mom and mom when my dad retired. My dad actually retired at 62. Years ago when people used to retire, um, they used to retire at 62 because a lot of them that waited till 65, which was the age at the time, they would pass away before their first check came or just after their check came they would pass away. So my dad decided he would not have that happen. He was going to retire at 62. My sister was only in ninth grade when he retired. But um, 
and he ended up living to 93. So I think he made it past his 65. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and, but but I remember when he was retired, my mother used to say, oh, my goodness, he's in the house all the time. He's underfoot all the time. She couldn't do what she yeah. wanted to do. She used to like, my mother used to like to go to church every day. And she used to like to go on rides. And she used to like to go to the Red Barn. There was a restaurant called the Red Barn. And they had the best milkshakes. And she used to love those milkshakes. You had to bring a spoon because they were so thick you couldn't suck them through the straw. So we would bring a spoon, but it was like she felt like her whole evening, because he worked 4 to 12, was kind of disrupted. So she would have had what they call, I wrote it down, retired husband syndrome. There is an actual syndrome where they diagnose people that where their wives get this husband's re retired husband syndrome because they're not used to having them home and underfoot all the time. So my dad used to go fishing every day after he did his farm work. He used to do his farm work in the morning and then he or or he'd do his farm work well actually he'd do his farm work get it all done so that he could have a free time to go fishing. So he might do a lot of farm work one day and the next day go fishing but then it got to where he didn't have much farm work because we got rid of all the animals and we had just the garden and we did, got we didn't have the berries anymore and we didn't have the grapes anymore. So he just had the basic lawn mowing stuff and garden work. So he would to go fishing all the time, but then he would come home and he used to buy, he used to not buy, oh good grief. Mm -hmm. He used to catch what they called silver bass and oh, calico yes. and maybe some bluegills, but it was the mostly there. They were little fish. They weren't very big. They were probably... Oh, I don't know, maybe five inches long. And he used to fillet them, and I used to sit there and skin them. And I remember I was candy striping at the time. And, you know, when you're playing with fish for hour upon hour, because it'd be like 60 or 70 of them, or 80 or 90 little fish that you'd be cleaning, your hands would smell like really bad. And I remember the one time I was supposed to go to the hospital to, to volunteer, because I used to volunteer. I was the oldest volunteer that they ever had. I started when I was a senior in high school and I continued three years after I graduated. I was still candy striping. I had gotten all of their um, awards for the hours of candy striping. And um, well, anyways, I was cleaning fish and my hands were stinking like crazy. And I thought, you know, I have to go to the hospital and my hands are gonna smell when I go to gather go into the room, they're going to smell fish. I'm going to smell like the fish woman, like the cockles and mussels. <laughs> alive, alive. <laughs> With my wheelbarrow, I actually had a cart. <laughs> I didn't have a wheelbarrow. But anyways, <laughs> I know, that's crazy. That's what came to my head. But um, so what I had to, what I did is to get fish smell off your hands, I used lemon juice. And I rubbed my hand, I, um, if you have a little sore on them, heaven help you, because now it's going to burn. So I'd use lemon juice. And another thing that kind of helps, but this helps more with onions. If you want to get the stink off your hands with onions, you rub your hands on the stainless steel sinks. Something about the steel will take away that smell. So I did that with um, my hands. I used the lemon juice and then I used the, the tried to get it on the stainless steel sinks sink which we didn't have mm -hmm. so I had to use a stainless steel knife because <laughs> we had a porcelain sink we didn't have the stainless steel sinks but after when I was married then I could use a stainless steel sink because I had a stainless steel sink but to get the fish smell off you use lemon juice and then I used a butter knife like you know a stainless steel knife I do have a stainless steel bracelet but that's too small and so is the knife Okay, and um, but that was because he was retired. He would go fishing, and I guess I got off topic, kind of. I guess that happens every day. And I've been retired. It'll be a year in May. And am I enjoying it? I sure am. I, I feel guilty sometimes because I can sleep in, and I get to stay up later now. Before I used to get up at 5, 5.30 in the morning. Now I can get up at 7, 7.30, 8. I could get up later if I really wanted to, but I feel like I'm wasting the day. 
and I used to go to bed by 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and now I can go to bed at 10, 10.30, 11. I can go to bed anytime I wanted to. I could stay up all night if I wanted to, but I don't. <laughs> Jessica's like, oh, get up over there. <laughs> He's not like my kids on the weekend. <laughs> I don't have to get up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's it because Jessica's going to have to leave to go get Paige from her cheering practice. Oh, and they, they went to Canada again. And this time they got second place, but they missed it by just half a point, half a point or less. It was so, so little. And they're, they're, they got the first place when they went the other time, and they're supposed to go to Florida which that's where I'll be going. So one of these days I'm going to have to try to practice on my iPad to make a video, which will be very interesting because I have no idea how to do it. I, Jim did set up my my intro and my extra where you, you're supposed to subscribe, ring the bell, and all that good stuff. <laughs> they say that you're supposed to do that. I never tell you to do that because I don't think of it. If you do it, I'm so happy. But they, the videos that I've been listening to has said that a lot of people that don't do YouTube videos or don't watch YouTube very often don't know that they're supposed to subscribe and hit the little bell so they get the notification of when you go post another video. Well, if you do that, I thank you. <laughs> and, and that's it for now, I guess. I'll talk to you all another day about retirement. I didn't go very much into it, but I did kind of. I will say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>